Hey, it's Eddie from Priority. We've been expanding our e-bike offerings to include the Priority Current, the Priority E-Coast, and now the Priority E-Classic. Let's go through the different options and talk about which one is best for you. Our Priority Current is our fastest and most versatile e-bike. It has a powerful mid-drive motor and a geared hub in the back. That makes it an excellent choice for a commuter and for fitness rides or riding further. Our E-Coast is an electrified version of our beach cruiser, so it's designed to be rust resistant and have a really laid back riding position. It's a super simple single speed drivetrain with a rear hub motor, and it's the right choice for you if you want to do the least amount of work on the bike because it comes with a throttle. The E-Classic Plus is like your classic bike, but electrified. It offers a really natural feel from a low drag front hub motor and a three-speed drivetrain in the back allows you easy, carefree, short commutes and casual rides around the neighborhood. The current ships Class 1, which means it's pedal assist up to 20 miles per hour, but it can be changed to Class 3 by changing the top speed up to 28 using the display. The E-Coast ships Class 2, which means it has a throttle and pedal assist up to 20 miles per hour and can be changed up to 28 miles per hour using the display. The E-Classic is Class 1, which means it's pedal assist up to 20 miles per hour. All of these bikes offer pedal assist, but the way that it senses your pedaling is a little bit different, and that determines how the bike feels. The Priority Current uses a torque sensor in the bottom bracket that senses how hard you're pedaling and delivers power that's proportional to how much effort you're putting in. So that gives the bike a very natural uh, power response, and that means it's a great choice for doing a fitness ride because the harder you pedal, the harder bike, the bike pushes. For the E-Coast, it uses a cadence sensor. So that means that you don't have to put in very much effort to get the full power of the motor. So it's a very low effort riding experience. Similarly, the E-Classic uses a cadence sensor. So that means that you get the full power of the pedal assist mode that you're in, just turning the pedals over. But because of the low drag front hub motor, it feels a lot more natural than the E-Coast. Our current e-bike weighs about 53 pounds or 51 for the Shimano spec. And most of the weight is centered around the middle of the bike because that's where the motor and the battery are. And uh, that's pretty light compared to other comparable offerings out there. So it's not too hard to get it up and down the stairs when you need to, and it feels fairly balanced. The E-Coast is heavier at 56 pounds. And a lot of that weight is centered over the rear wheel uh, because that's where the motor and the battery are. And that really helps with traction and stability for the bike. But because of the weight placement, it's a little harder to put the bike on a bike rack or carry it up and down stairs by yourself. The E-Classic Plus at 49 pounds is the lightest. And it also, I think, feels the most balanced because it uses a front hub motor in the front, an internally geared hub in the back, and an integrated down tube battery in the center. If you live in an apartment and you have to bring your bike up and down the stairs, this is the better choice for you. If you're shopping between these three, you should get a Current if you want a bike that's the fastest and most versatile. You should get an E-Coast if you want something that's really laid back and low effort. And you should get an E-Classic Plus if you want a simple and fun way to electrify a local ride. I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any more questions, please give us a call, send us a text, or send us an email. The contact information is on your screen.